Hi, this is Anne from Design Bundles, and today I'm going to show you how to make a buffalo plaid deer antler silhouette in Adobe Illustrator. All right, let's get started. Okay, we're here in Illustrator now, and I'm just gonna come over here to Create New. We'll come up here to the top to Print, and then choose Letter, and then we'll come down here to Create. Okay, let's make our buffalo plaid pattern swatch. First, we'll make a black square, so I'm gonna hit M on my keyboard. That'll bring us to the rectangle tool, which is right over here. And then I'm going to click and drag. Now to get a white fill and a black outline on your square like I have, just hit D on your keyboard. Then you can hit Shift X, that'll switch them. So now the black is the fill and the white is the outline. Let's click on the white and just choose none. Okay, so we have the first section done already. Now we'll need a red area down here to the right. Now you'll want to go ahead and make sure that snap to point is on. So come up here to view and then we'll come down here to snap to point. You should have a little check mark next to it. If you don't, just click on it. Okay, now I'm going to get my group selection tool, which is right here. Now I'm just going to click right on that point and start dragging and then hold option. And you can see your cursor changes to two cursors. And then when we get close to this point, you can see it change again. And once it does, it's snapping to that point and then release. Now I'm going to get back on my fill and double click and I'll choose a red color. And I'll say, okay. Okay, and then the two other squares that we need are both going to be stripes. So we need to make our stripes. So hit M on your keyboard to get to the rectangle tool. And I'm just going to click and drag a thin little red rectangle right here. Um, now I'm going to get back on my group selection tool. Click right on that point on the upper right. Hold shift and option, that's shift and alt on a PC. And do the same thing where you're getting right up next to that other point until it snaps. And then release. And we'll want that one to be black. So I'll come up here to color and choose black. Now, if you don't see all of these palettes, they're all available in window. Color is right here. Okay, so I'm gonna grab both of these with my group selection tool. And I'm gonna get right on the uppermost right point again. Click and then hold Shift and Option or Alt until we snap and then release. And then I'm just gonna hit Command D a few times to fill out the space. That is going to redo what I just did. And you can do Control D if you're on a PC. Okay, this is looking nice. Okay, and this is exactly what we want. And now I'm going to need to rotate these. So I'm gonna hit R on my keyboard to get to the Rotate tool. And then I'm going to start rotating and then hold Shift and it should snap to a 90 degree angle or 45, yeah. Now we need to copy one of our squares and paste. Now I'm gonna put this right on top of our stripes. They aren't quite big enough yet, so I'm gonna move it out of the way, select all the stripes, get on a corner and just shift drag it so that it's a little bit bigger. And then I'll put the square right back on top. Now when I do this, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit. To do that, I got on my zoom tool. I'm going to change this to no fill and no stroke. So I'll just do none right down here. I want the same amount of red showing here as up here. So I'm gonna use my arrow keys to kind of move that over and up a little bit. It doesn't have to be perfect. Make sure that all parts of your square have some stripes in them. Then we're going to select the stripes and the square and hit Command-7 or Control-7 on a PC. And that is going to mask it inside the square shape. Okay, now we just need to move this up and snap it into this location. So this time I'm going to get on my selection tool and just click right on that corner and drag it up until it snaps. I'll hold Option or Alt I'm going to click on the bottom left corner, hold Option or Alt, and then snap it right into the same, right into this area. Okay, 
that is our buffalo plaid. Now we just need to make it into a swatch. And I want it to be quite a bit smaller than this, so let's select all four, hold shift, and I'll make it quite a lot smaller. Now there's one more thing we need to do. We need to divide this. So if we hit Command Y or Control Y right now, you can still see all of these pieces that hang off the edge and we need to get rid of those. So hit Command Y or Control Y to go back. We'll select everything and then we'll come down here to Pathfinder and do Divide. Now if we hit Command Y or Control Y, um, it has cut off all those outer pieces. Okay, hit Command Y or Control Y to get back. Now I'm going to select the whole thing, click and drag, and release in my swatches palette. And it'll add a new pattern swatch inside your palette. Now we can test it. I'm going to hit M on my keyboard to get to the rectangle tool. And now I can click on that pattern swatch and see how well it worked. Okay, this looks great. Perfectly seamless. All right, let's delete that. And now we'll go get our deer head silhouette. So I'm going to come out here to Vectezy.com. And this is a site for free vectors. But when you use this site, you have to be careful because they have a strict license and you don't want to use the images in the wrong way. So be sure to read the license for everything you download from here. Okay, let's search for Christmas deer. I'm also going to come over here to the side and choose free license. There are some of these that are paid and we can't download them without being um, a member. Okay, and I'm liking this deer here, so I'm gonna click on that. And we'll choose free download. As I mentioned before, you'll definitely want to make sure you use this correctly. It's totally okay to practice with it though. Now when you download it, if you're on Chrome, it's going to come in right down here in the lower left. So once it's done, you can click on this little carrot and choose Show in Binder. With Vecteezy, I think all of their stuff comes in as a zip file. If you're on a Mac, you can just double click it, it'll unzip it. If you're on a PC, you'll wanna right click and then choose Extract or Extract All. After you unzip it, there'll be a little folder, so let's double click that. And then this one comes with an AI file. So I'm just going to click and drag this onto my Illustrator icon. Okay, and now I only want the deer uh, shape. I don't want all this other stuff. So I'm going to get on my group selection tool. I'm gonna to click right on the edge of this deer. So I'm only selecting the outermost edge. And then I'll copy, come back to my original document and paste. Okay, I'm going to hold shift and get on a corner and make this a lot bigger. All right, that looks good. And this might be a little bit too big still. So I'm going to get right on the corner of this and make it a little bit smaller, right about there. And then I'm going to drag it into my swatches again. Now we can click on the deer head, make sure our fill is in front, and then choose new pattern swatch. And now we have a buffalo plaid deer head with antlers. Now, if you don't like how big the buffalo plaid is inside, you can pull your pattern swatch out like this. Resize it however you want, and then click and hold Option or Alt and put it right back on top of that pattern swatch. It'll update the pattern inside the silhouette. We can also click the silhouette and um, use our tilde key. That's the one right above the tab key to move that swatch pattern around. We can also hit R for rotate and then hold that tilde key and rotate the pattern without moving the silhouette. So that's another option. So with pattern fills, you can really customize the design however you want. All right, if you like this video and you wanna see more videos like this, just hit the subscribe button and the little bell next to it and you'll be notified every time a new video comes out. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.